Good morning, Messiah. My name is Chuck Harris, and I serve the members, friends, neighbors near and far of Messiah as pastor. Yesterday, Kelly spoke to us of Jonah and how, like Jonah, most of us, if not all, have had some experience in our life running away from God. And how, in the midst of running away from God, we've been overtaken in some way by life's storms. And yet God provides. For Jonah, it was the provision of a fish. Today, we meet Jonah once again in the belly of the fish as he prays to God. Let me share the scripture from Jonah chapter 2. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish, saying, I called to the Lord out of my distress, and he answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the flood surrounded me. All your waves and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight. How shall I look again upon your holy temple? The waters closed in around me. The deep surrounded me. Weeds were wrapped around my head at the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. As my life was ebbing away, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came to you into your holy temple. Those who worship vain idols forsake their true royalty. But I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will pay. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to the fish, and it spewed Jonah out on dry land. During this time of pandemic, our experience might seem quite close to Jonah. The sense of being cast into deep water, the fear or very real threat of the virus uh, raging around us like floodwaters tossing us to and fro. The land is far from our sight. In fact, we might even at times feel like this pandemic has driven us far away from God's own sight of us, quite out of the reach of God. That's a very real feeling, I think, for many of us uh, in our lives today. Will we ever come again close to God, see God's holy temple, be close to the heart and soul of God's love for us? Jonah says it's like getting entangled in weeds and being pushed down to the roots of the mountains. That's also how this time of pandemic may feel to us, that we've been bound up in things quite beyond our control and are being pushed ever deeper and deeper down or away from that which is familiar or at least somewhat controllable for us. Forsaken, abandoned, locked in are some of the things that we might as God's people be feeling. And yet there is a, a wonderful trust in God's hearing that Jonah has. Jonah says, as my life was ebbing away, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came to you in your holy temple. At the very beginning of this section that I read, I called to the Lord out of my distress, and the Lord answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. How have we been crying out to the Lord uh, during this time of pandemic? Maybe that can be our thought of the day uh, today, is that our voice is heard by God and that our cries to God probably have been happening and we may not have even realized it. Maybe our cry to the Lord has been sort of a sigh when the day just has felt overwhelming. That's a sigh to the Lord. Or maybe it's been a muttering under our breath when we've been confused or agitated by something that has caught us unaware. You know, this is a time when our voices need to rise up to God, whether that's individually or as God's community 
here on earth. It's a time to trust that we can speak out to God in whatever way our heart and our spirit um, motivate us to, and that the Lord does hear us in the midst of our crying. There is something about speaking out to the Lord that is so important. It's, it is a, an ability in us that God has given this speaking to the Lord. It is also a conviction as we speak to the Lord that this is not the time to try to go it alone or by ourselves. This time of pandemic is not a uh, pick ourselves up all by our lonesomes, by our own bootstraps. That's not the mentality that these times call for. We have become very, very aware that our actions, um, our own individual actions, affect a wide circle or network of people. And what I do today affects my family, uh, my extended family, my church community, my neighbors. Everything from practicing good social distancing uh, to not hoarding when I go to the grocery store. All of these behaviors affect my neighbors in a positive manner. There is being, I think, sewn into us once again into the very fabric of how we go about our daily life, this renewed sense that we're in this together and that we all affect one another and that one of the ways we can bring a, a, a positive effect is to reach out to God and not try to go it alone without God. I wonder if we're even learning that our behaviors, to some degree, also affect God. That's a interesting thing for us to think about. If we are trying to go it alone and not reach out to God, does God feel alone or abandoned by us? I mean, God created us to have a relationship with God. My hunch is, is that God is affected in some way by how we treat that relationship with God, just as our friends, neighbors, or family are affected by how we treat them and how we care for our relationship with them. I think the bottom line here is that this is the time for us to set aside our pride and to be able to ask one another and to ask God for help. For in all healthy relationships, when in negative self-pride, a sense that we are unaffected or can do everything on our own, that sort of negative, go-it-alone kind of mentality, when we set that aside, we can live a deeper sense of community with our neighbor and with God, knowing that we are in need of one another and in need of God, might bring to us some unexpected uh, spiritual benefits during this time of pandemic. So my encouragement for all of us this day is, like Jonah, let's reach out to God. Let's reach out to one another. And let's communicate what we need and communicate to one another how we can help each other in those needs. Building a community of faith and a renewed community in our neighborhoods, our cities, our states, and maybe even in our nation. As always, I love you all. I hope you have a great day today. Um, go out, enjoy the sun if it's out, um, but remember... Don't be afraid to ask for help from your neighbor or from God. And most especially, don't be afraid to share some help with those who might be in need. God bless you all. Good day.